I don't know about you, but the Minecraft soundtrack holds a buttload of my memories, probably more than it should. But you just can't replace the countless hours spent building, staying up with friends till the a.m. Uh, no, excuse me. Jesus Christ. Uh, but it was all to the sounds of these beautiful songs. And the one I have for you today is Wet Hands. And it's actually the first piece of music I ever taught myself how to play. And if you stay till the end, I'm going to play Wet Hands with literal wet hands. But not only are there Minecraft memories here, but it really was the first domino for everything that Graytoven's turned into. So uh, please comment below if this has any special memories for you. And let's get into it. I'm just going to teach you how I taught myself. I don't necessarily care about what we like should be doing. I just care about finding whatever way you can to play the music that you love, because that's really what matters. So to start, I like to position my hands around here. All right, so, and that's because it's gonna make it easier to play. Uh, we don't really have to move our hands very much. So we're gonna start off with this part. It's called start part, or at least that's what I called it. It's very original. Thank you very much, I know, I know. So you're gonna start with this. You play that two times, all right? Then we're going to come in with the right hand on G sharp. So then it's going to sound like this. All right, so let's break that up a little bit. Play it slowly, just like this. it up wherever you need to. Uh, this is actually an A major 7th add 9, which is why it sounds so beautiful, these notes that we play here. And this is actually a D major 7th add 9. This song just loves 7 add 9s, so you don't have to know that, but fun facts. Now we're moving on to next part. Yep, that's what it's going to be, next part. And we'll call this next part, and it begins with the right hand on C sharp and E. Both hands hit G. So what that left hand is doing is going up to G, B, D, F sharp, A. Back down. Back up. Guess what? G major 7th at 9. And the right hand just comes in with these notes. Let's play it slowly. almost kind of repeat that, but the timing's a little different. So watch this. So let's recap the next part. We're going to call this sus part because it's a suspenseful buildup to the sad boy part. Sus part goes like this. All right, so all that was was that beginning part of start part again. All right, then after that, it's just an ascending A major chord all the way up to this third C sharp here. What that means is we're hitting every note we see on the way up from A to C sharp that is within the A major chord. That is A, C sharp, and E. Play the notes however you want. I just did it in a weird way. Who cares? But we have that big hold on C sharp. Then we're coming in with a B minor second inversion. Whoa, what does that mean? It just means F sharp, B, and D. Play it kind of like that, like roll into it. Whoops. Like that. I don't know what the name for that is, but you do that when you come in with B on the left. Okay, and the left hand is going, guess what? It's doing a, another seventh add nine. It's a B minor seventh add nine. 
does that twice. Here's the full part. So let's go through that slowly one more time. Octave, E and F sharp. Both Ds. Now that sad boy part's done, we're going on to boat part because it's beginning of the end. <laughs> they just keep coming, I know, I know. Absolutely genius. So we begin with the right hand, again, playing B and C sharp before anything comes in on the left. So B sharp, no, not B sharp, B, C sharp, D, and then G comes in at the same time. So the left hand is playing this. Very similar to that left hand from next part, but instead of this F sharp, it's another G. And the right hand does this. Big hold on F sharp. Big release on C sharp with A, E, A. Now let's do the endy part. Yes, the endy part. For the end, again, here we come with two notes on the right hand first. B, A. Then E on the left comes in. Hit B on the right hand again. Then we're doing an ascending E major chord up to this G sharp. So the E major notes are E, G sharp, and B. We're coming all the way, yeah. we're coming all the way up to here. Back down. Come back down the second time, we're not hitting B, we're hitting A. So check this out one more time. The left hand is playing the part from next part again. But it stops right on that B when it comes down. The right hand's doing this. So put them together slowly. That's an ascending A major, up to here. Then we're coming back down with B, A, E. And then this part is pretty cool, y'all. It's the final part. We're doing an ascending E major on the left, starting with this E, all the way up to there. And we're doing a descending E major with the right hand, starting with this G sharp. So it's like this. And it ends there. So it's like this. Same thing on the left, descending E major starting with this B. And look at that. They both meet at G sharp. How cool. And then you just play the left-handed part two more times, very slowly and softly. All right, so that was a lot. Let's recap ND part one more time with B, A, B. That's all I got. Thank you for watching. If you want to see the full final playthrough of me playing wet hands with literal wet hands, uh, check out this video right here. I will have more tutorials like this soon. Check out some of my other videos. Be sure to subscribe. Peace.